hello guys welcome back to this channel in this video i'll quickly be showing you how to set up a power backup system uh, this option uh, contains um, the battery the inverter and then the charger this is one of the options like i explained in my previous video all you need to know about power backup system all right um this is the battery and uh, the battery is a 12 volt battery and also 100 amp hour specification there are batteries of different types but uh, this is just uh, uh, the one of a uh, 12 volt and then 100 amp hour uh, also uh, the terminals are two the positive and then the negative the positive terminal is the one with the red uh, inscription and then it is marked with a plus sign and then the negative uh, terminal is the one with the black you know painting and then it is also marked in uh, a minus sign i want you to realize that uh, if you are using a battery of a 12 volts then all your components in this uh, system has to be 12 volts all through for effective running there are 24 volt system there are 48 volt system but in this video the illustration is just about a 12 volt uh, system all right this is the inverter that i'll be using for this tutorial and uh, this inverter uh, is all in one inverter but i will not be using the charging uh, part of it because it's faulty so i'll be using a separate charger actually and and this is a 1000 watts inverter and also note that uh, the you know the voltage of this inverter is 12 volts and it is doing a conversion to 230 volts uh, alternating current uh, another part of this inverter that i would like to show you is the terminals at the back you have the terminals at the back and uh, one of them is black while the other one is red uh, in electrical world color code is observed for you know easy connection so uh, the red one is the positive while the you know uh, the black one is the negative and you can see at the back we have the inscription dc negative and then dc uh, positive when we get to connection stage i will talk more about this and then uh, if you look at the front of the inverter you always see the uh, switch there which uh, powers on the inverter and then it powers it off also there are indicators there you know uh, one is the inverter indicator and then the other one is the charger indicator uh, since i said that i will not be using the charging of this inverter so don't let us uh, waste attention on that uh, but uh, you will also notice uh, a socket point and this is the outlet point uh, that we bring out the power supply from this uh, inverter uh, you can also see a usb point there it can be used all right uh, this is the you know the charger and this charger is a 10 amps battery charger yes look at uh, the 10 amps written it will be written boldly there uh, you you will have some other you know chargers that are 20 hams 30 hams and so on they are, they will also perform the same function just that uh, the the charger with higher hams you know will charge your battery faster than the one with uh, a lower hams all right uh, the next thing that we will look at is the terminals this charger also has terminals you know we have the black and then we have the red terminals you can see that something is common with all these things that uh, we are using here there's always a color code of black and red it's just for simple direction on how to connect it uh, you know uh, so uh, the 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 positive is the red and then the negative is the black and then it, uh, also uh, attached to this charger is a plug head and then the plug head is what is used to connect the uh, inverter you know to ac current so that you can always charge your system using this then looking at the back of the uh, charger you will see uh, indicators there one is for the power that is when you plug the 
you know the charger to uh, to to uh, national grid of Nepal light now uh, the red light will come on and then uh, if you are charging the green light will not turn green until when your battery is fully charged then the green light will come on all right so uh, the next thing is to go into the connection so uh, the first thing you need to do is to you know arrange your inverter in a comfortable place although don't mind the way i'm doing mine here it's just for the purpose of uh, this illustration then um you take the terminals of uh, of the inverters now the red will go to the positive on your battery and that's the you know uh, the red terminal on your battery and then the uh, the the black on your inverter will also go to you know uh, the black on the battery that's negative to negative you will also repeat the same process even with your charger and the moment you are done with this um, you can go ahead and then plug your charger to Nepal light or the national grid now you know so that it can be charged um, after you have charged your battery fully good then you can come back and then uh, switch on the inverter yes uh, in this tutorial i may not really have um, uh, room to show you uh, the connection in a building to do that you need to get an electrician you know to carry out the connection in part of your building you know putting loads that you want on the inverter and all that but for me i will use extension boards to show that there is a supply of uh, alternating current from my inverter and uh, i will you know plug the extension box and then the indicators on the extension box will of course uh, make us know that uh, there is power supply so i'm plugging it now and then uh, let's switch it on all right can you see the light is coming on and then if i switch it off it's coming off all right with this system you can actually power six numbers of um, 18 watts bulb and then you know a 32 inches uh, television which is about 40 watts your standing fan which is about 40 watts also at maximum actually your decoder which is also maximum at about 45 watts then the sound system which should be maximum at 100 watts and you can as well charge your phones your rechargeable devices and all that also take note that uh, this system will last uh, maximum five hours four to five hours but if you are not using all the devices all at once it should last much more than that yes uh, all right in our next video i'll be showing you you know how to size your system to fit your own particular need of load at your apartment that's the battery that you need the, uh, the size of the inverter that you need and then the charger all these will be doing in our subsequent video all right guys thank you for watching and then see you in our next video bye for now